All right, so welcome back, guys. Um, and what I'd like to say, I want to spend the first probably about 10, 15 minutes going through the syllabus and seeing if you guys have any questions on that. Um, so top is always sort of, you know, the boilerplate kind of stuff. Um, you guys all know how to get a hold of me. Um, office hours, it says by appointment. Right now, I know I will, well, I'm always in here the afternoon that I teach. Uh, so any Friday that we've got class, I'm always in. Um, I'm also right now scheduled to teach on Mondays and Wednesdays, although I suspect the Monday class is going to get canceled. In fact, I'm pretty, like, 98% confident it will be, because I was told it was going to be. It just hasn't happened yet. Um, so I probably will be here on Wednesday afternoons as well. But you guys know you can just email or call me, and uh, we can figure out a time. Um, one of the things I like about the course description for this class um, the culmination of the Certificate of Advanced Studies program. So I imagine for you guys that's got to feel pretty good at this stage, um, knowing that this is probably the last bit of stuff that you've got to do. So as I mentioned, the rest of the stuff up at the top is boilerplate stuff, the research course sequence you guys have all seen before. Um, the text for this course is the same one that we had last semester. Um, and you'll notice that with a couple of exceptions, the readings for this class are essentially just reading, rereading, or reviewing, I will say, um, chapters from the previous semester based on roughly where I think you're going to be in your um, studies. And I'll talk a little bit about that when we get down to the schedule. So looking at the assignments, which I guess is the first thing that's uh, of note to you guys, um, there are four of them. Um, the first one is the introduction, which essentially is your chapter one, or at least the first draft of your chapter one. And we'll talk a little bit more about that tonight. Uh, if you didn't pick up the samples that are sitting on the top of the table that Roseanne is at, um, make sure you grab a copy of those. And I've got them posted in Blackboard as well, so the PDFs are up under the session one folder in Blackboard. So, but we'll go through those in sort of a detailed way and pick apart what you know what those guys are doing there and the things that I'm going to be expecting of you um, for that particular one so that's the first assignment the second assignment is your results which essentially is your chapter four the third assignment is your conclusions and implications which essentially is your chapter five or I should say for those three items it's actually the first draft of so much like we did in 690, where you would submit it to me in advance, and then I'd give it back to you, and then at the end of the semester, you submitted the whole thing. Same thing's going to happen this time. So you'll submit Chapter 1, then eventually a little bit, of actually quite a while later, you'll submit Chapter 4, and then shortly after that, you'll submit Chapter 5, and then I think it's a couple of weeks later, you'll submit the entire thing. Um, so that's sort of the way the four assignments are put together in there. And... Um, the rest of this, you know, assignment notes, course policies, that's all boilerplate language. Um, so it would have been stuff you would have seen last semester, stuff you probably saw every other semester you've been here at SHU. Down to class schedule. Um, as I mentioned in 690, we are meeting three times tonight, the 2nd of October, and then the 20th of November. And I've picked out those times because essentially that's where I like to think that you will be at in a particular point in your study. So right now most of you, at least those of you that have gotten your 690 work cleared and are ready to actually start your study, um, and if you've gotten a grade for 690 that means you're clear and ready to go. Um, those of you that haven't, um, we're working through this, hopefully. I know some of you have been a little bit more communicative than others over the past six weeks. Um, and I'll mention and talk about that a little bit in a second. So basically tonight it's sort of getting you ready to get started. So we're going to look a little bit more about data collection. Um, I've got a couple of activities, as I mentioned, that you know are going to give you essentially getting you ready for them. Um, the one when we meet in October, that's really by then you will have some data. You might not have all of your data by then, but you'll have some of your data collected by then. So we're going to really focus that class upon both how do we manage and analyze this data and then essentially what does your chapter 4 look like? Like how do you present this data in a results chapter? 
and that will largely depend upon the nature of your data, if it's qualitative or quantitative, and you'll, I'll show you ways in which you would present both of those types. The November class, or class three, that's going to be looking at, you know, bringing it all together for the most part, um, you know, particularly with a focus on that chapter five. You know, what goes into the conclusions and implications, and then how do I really tidy up, you know, my chapter four based on the feedback that I would have gotten. So you'll note what tends to happen is that the assignment dates are due after the classes, as you can see in many cases, several weeks after the classes. So the first one is actually due in three weeks' time. So your chapter one is due in three weeks. Um, your chapter four is due the 13th of November, which is going to be, I think, about six weeks after that October class. Because my guess is, is that most of you will likely have m all or most of your data collected by the end of October or so. I know some of you are probably going to spill out a little bit into November, but, you know, Ideally, you'd have most, if not all, of it done by the end of November, or sorry, the end of October, first week of November kind of time frame. Um, and then, if you, whoops, sorry, I'll go down a little bit further. And then for session three, you'll note that we meet essentially the Friday before Thanksgiving, and then the Friday after Thanksgiving, not the day after, but the eight days after, is when the first draft of your chapter five is due. Uh, so by then, you should have had feedback on your Chapter 4, so you should essentially know what the results of your study are at that stage, so then you can start talking about, um, you know, the three things that need to be included in, in Chapter 3. Um, and then from there, essentially, I'm hoping to turn those Chapter 5s around really quickly, as you can see, because your actual thesis is due a week later. Um, I'd like to make it two weeks later, but I've got to get grades into the register, um, before they head home for Christmas and uh, so I need to get those uh, back within a week because ideally I'm going to have 10 150 were 150 page 200 page documents uh, some 120 uh, that I've got to go through so um, you know it's going to take a few days to get through uh, them so that's sort of where we are now you'll note again this is a three credit hour class that only meets three times. Like 690, the idea is that in addition to these class meetings, that you and I are going to be working together throughout the semester. You know, so as you start collecting data and you're starting to sift through it and stuff like that, you know, you want to be scheduling meetings with me either in person or on the phone or uh, using Skype or Google Chat or something so that we can start to go over this kind of stuff. So that way, come the 11th of December, you'll have this ready to go. I mentioned that and I'm going to stress that because some of you did a very good job of that with 690. Um, you know, scheduled out meetings and some of them, you know, while they haven't finished all of the 690 stuff yet, you know, we've got meetings scheduled out and we've got a deadline and stuff, and, and that's great. That's the way it was supposed to work. Other folks kind of went AWOL. And, you know, the mid part of July when the last time I saw you was the last I heard from you. Um, so for those people, and it's, it's, if you are one of those, don't think you're the only one. If I remember correctly, out of the 10 people in the class, there are only five or six that actually have the go-ahead to start yet. Uh, so there are still four or five that are still working through their chapters two and three, um, getting ready to start their study. So if you are in that position, rest assured you're not the only one. Um, you know, because I know that when you're, particularly when you're doing this kind of independent work, you can often feel like that you're the only person that's gotten behind and everyone else has got their act together so much and they're all on the ball and they're all ready to go and stuff like that. No, that's, that's not the case. You are about the norm because if half of you are ready to go and half of you aren't, that means that the average is something, uh, somewhere there right in the middle. Right? So, um, you know, if you are part of that group, don't worry about it. Um, obviously, we want to get things clued up with your proposal uh, as soon as possible so we can make sure that you're in a position to finish 691 before the end of this semester. But uh, beyond that, you know, don't fret yet. Um, 
Having said that, again, keep in mind that we've got three scheduled classes, but I expect to be interacting with you throughout the semester. Um, you know, now depending on the nature of the data you've got and the type of plan you've got put together, some of you are going to, you know, be interacting with me a little bit more than others. Um, you know, those of you that are generating more data probably be interacting with me more than those of you that are generating less data or mul more multiple forms of data uh, likely be interacting with me more. Um, you know, but that's the expectation there. And then, as with all of the other um, syllabi that you should be getting now, um, and this should be consistent across all of the syllabus that you're getting in the course is a bibliography, which essentially is a list of other resources that could be useful to you um, as you're working your way through this process. So essentially they're just a series of um, educational research books. So some of them may be useful to you, some of them not so much. Some of them you probably will recognize. Actually, many of them I think at this stage you'll probably recognize. Um, any questions about the syllabus?